The Brizzy Free 1.0.82 update is out with a lot of new features. And you've seen us use them in the webinar and the videos in the last few weeks, and it's officially out. This is for the free, and later the Pro will come that will include the uploading of custom fonts. Let's have a look at what is new in 1.0.82 in this overview video, and then other more in-detailed videos will follow, which we will add in a playlist in the next week. If you already have Brizzy installed, you will see the update appear here and you're going to do everything within your WordPress dashboard. You don't need to download anything. You just click here on update now. Let's go have a look what's going on in this update. I'm going to create a new page and we just call this one update 1.0.82. And I think the first thing you will notice that if you want to load anything new are the features from Pro that are included here. Up here you will see layouts. For Pro, see the link in the description below. This is not only true for the layouts, but also for blocks. You will also see the Pro blocks now within the layout. Let's see if we can work all the new things from the beginning to the end. Let's go to add elements. And the first thing you will see here is that there's now a search element. So if you don't know where the text element is, you just search for it. And there's a clue, the text element is actually the first element. You can imagine if there are more and more elements that are going to be added in the future, this is going to be a great feature. The other one is the edit feature. Let's say there are certain elements that you will never use, like SoundCloud. You don't know for any reason why you will use SoundCloud. You click up on edit and then you just select those that you will not use. And when you're done, they won't be there. They won't be displayed. Let's load a block so that we can work with all the new features included. Now included in the free version coming over from Brizzy Pro are shape dividers. Go to the block settings, settings, more settings, and then you will see dividers here. You can apply dividers at the top and you can apply dividers at the bottom. The color manager and the color picker has had quite a number of updates. If I go to the column over here and I click on colors, you're going to see that we've grouped a number of related features together here. You have the overlay, which is the background, border, and as well shadow. All the familiar and usual suspects are here. Now, for your overlay, you can choose here between your solid and gradient. This will give you the slider at the top from which you can set your gradient. Borders are also included here now with the option for solid, dashed, and dotted borders over here. At the bottom, you have the option to de-link the borders so that you can set each borders width individually. Let's make it also thicker so you can see it better. Let's go back into the color manager. We're not done. Shadows are also included now here with all the shadow settings. We've made quite a number of improvements to the hover feature. One of the improvements relate to the fact that if you were working, for example, in the overlay and you were on this and now you go to hover, you will see that it will select overlay and keep the swatch that you had been working with. No need to go and find what you had been working with making it far more easier to swap back and forth between the default and the hover state. But by far the feature features that most will get very excited about are the changes and updates we've made to the text feature. Let's click here on this text element over here. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see it more prominently. And then let's go to the colors. Now you can apply gradients to your text. Let's put this text on a thicker weight. And yeah, let's go and even. And now you can also apply shadows with the same features of the shadow box element appearing here for dispersion, right and left on your X axis and up and down on your Y axis. Another exciting feature is that you can mask the header now with an image. Click on image, select the image that you want to use and set your focal point. This opens a lot of creative styling opportunities. So there we have the updates in a nutshell. Go check out the blog, read through all the updates in more detail here, and then also watch out for the upcoming videos to show you how to work with each of these features in more detail. In the blog, there's also news about upcoming releases and when you can expect that. So make sure you check out for that. 
To stay in touch, make sure you subscribe here to our YouTube channel and also hop over to Facebook community where we have a lot of discussions going on and then visit us here on brizzy.io. 